Well guys, Ivan and Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. As you can see, we're taking a nice little drive, um, heading to a, a place in the wheat belt called Newcastle. Anyone heard of it? You're probably thinking, what the hell is this dude talking about? Newcastle, there's no such thing in the, in the wheat belt. Well, this little town used to be called Newcastle from 1860 until 1910. And yes, then it was changed to a very well-known um, town now in the Wheat Belt called 2J. So 2J used to be called Newcastle. But apparently it was, they changed the name because people got confused between Newcastle, believe it or not, Newcastle in New South Wales. I don't know if I buy that one, but anyway, that's what um, they're telling me. Anyway, we're cruising through, um, we're going a different way today, we're going through Chittering. So we're on Chittering Road and um, we're heading, heading towards 2J. And when we get into 2J, we'll do a bit of filming over there and show you guys around the place. Until then, we'll keep cruising. Okay guys, so we're in 2J, we've arrived in 2J and uh, this is just a sign over here showing different um, Aboriginal words and um, what the things mean and all sorts of stuff. So we're at um, the Avon River over here, you can see the river over there and uh, we're walking underneath a bridge over here in 2J. That's where all the cars are going across. So the river seems to be flowing but not as much as it used to do you can see a bit of froth over there in the river but on the right hand side here it's fairly flat so we're just going to take a little walk down to the river and um, check things out and see what's happening over there bit of graffiti going on over there so you can see the water's flowing nicely over here. It's, it's very slow flowing, but it is quite nice. This is actually the, the river, this is the Avon River, by the way, and um, this is where they have the Avon descent in winter time. And this river will be flowing very, very strongly. But at the moment, you can see it's fairly flat and hardly any water in there. Okay, guys, so we're in this park in uh, Tujay over here. And it's quite a nice park. There's a lot of kids playing on the, on the playing equipment over there, which the playing equipment actually looks pretty good over there. And the park's got barbecues also. And this is where the river runs through. You can see the river over there. And this, this is the park where the river runs through. They've got all sorts of things going on over here. It's a very popular park. Uh, a lot of families come down here, have barbecues, have a picnic, get togethers, all that sort of thing. There's even a men's shed over here in 2J guys, I don't know if you can see it over there. So any of you guys that want to get out and do some woodwork or metalwork or whatever they do there, you can get out and do that. So we're just driving through a probably residential type area here. Now you can see t Newcastle jail and police stables. So that's what 2J used to be called actually, Newcastle, what I said before. So there's still a few things there that are named after the old name of 2J, but this year looks like um, residential up here. And there's a few nice houses. On, we're on a hill over here, so perch on a hill. Looks pretty cool. 
and we'll take you guys through part of the residential area and then we'll go into the main town and look around there. Nice Bougainvillea. Okay, we're heading up to a, a lookout area, so maybe we can, maybe we'll be able to get some good views from there. I haven't been up this um, part of 2J. We have been to 2J quite a few times. Um, we haven't been up into this residential type area. So we're heading up to this up this road and there should be a lookout area from there so we don't really know how far up the road it is but um, we'll drive up there and check it out. Hey guys this here is the lookout that we found. Pretty good views from here. We're actually standing 185 meters above sea level over here which is pretty high up. Mind you the ocean is a long way from us but this is the way they've worked it out. 185 meters above sea level. So let us know what you think of the views guy. guys. Um, put some comments down below. This is 2J, hundred, about 100 kilometers um, east of Perth in the wheat belt in Western Australia. So we'll take a little walk around here and show you some of the signs over here. And, um, this here is just a um, memorial garden commemor commemorates James Drummond Senior. He was a botanist and a pioneer farmer of the district. And then we've got a few other signs over here. This is what I was telling you about here. The sign where it says we're 185 meters above sea level and the height above the valley is 45 meters and we've got a few other aboriginal um, writings going on here another sign over here it's quite a um, quite a coolish day over here in 2J today it, it was drizzling with rain before I think it's going to rain I feel something happening there's a bit of seating down there also if you can see that down there a bit of seating over there so on a nice day you can sit over there have a picnic and uh, take in the beautiful view of 2J ok guys we're just um, going to head into the town centre over here in 2J and then we'll park the car and we'll walk around the place and show you guys around. So we're, part, we're just going to take a quick drive through the town centre. So this here is a um, few cafes, the Coca-Cola cafe I think it's called. You've got a hardware over here, you've got a few real estate um, places. It's quite a nice little town too, Jay. The main street is called Stirling Terrace, so we're on Stirling Terrace now. And um, this here is the Victoria Hotel on the left. Quite a nice hotel, old hotel. But they have refurbished it and it looks pretty good inside, fairly modern inside. As we head sort of towards the end of Stirling Terrace, um, the crowds start getting less, and we're sort of getting out of town here. But there are still a few old buildings. Here's the old library over there on the left-hand side, and this is a newspaper place here. This 2J Herald comes out of there. I've got to be careful here because the speed limit's 50 kilometres here. In Perth today, it's uh, oh, well, over around the world, it's uh, Easter holidays, but <coughs> in Perth, they'll um, fine you fairly heavily if you're caught speeding over this holiday period. There's double demerit points, actually. 
so the fines are fairly hefty and you'll lose points on your license if you get caught so I'll just do the speed limit and um, not get caught so we'll spin around here and go on the other side of that road and see where it takes us here's the tourist information centre here guys it's on the end of Stirling Terrace as you're heading out <coughs> so we'll head back down Stirling Terrace and we'll go the opposite direction just waiting for a car to pass here while I get back on Stirling Terrace so we're back on Stirling Terrace now and we'll head in the opposite direction and just give you guys a bit of a view of Stirling Terrace in 2J in the wheat belt in Western Australia so there's a few old buildings here I just saw the station masters old station masters house over there um, there's a 2J community centre we're just passing and you've got a uh, sports oval over here coming up and sports sports oval here on your left hand side you can't see it because it's built up but that is a sporting oval in there which I'm assuming plenty of uh, sport get, happens in this town on the weekends so we're heading back to the back into the main part of Stirling Terrace here where the pubs and restaurants and cafes and that are everyone seems to be obeying the speed limit through here everyone's going slow it says 50 kilometers an hour so that's what we'll do so there's a liquor store over there you can buy all the alcohol over here bottle it's called and coming up to a uh, shop over here on the left which sells a lot of Christmas decorations I'm not sure if it's open today but we'll we'll take a walk down here shortly when we park the car check it all out this shop here is definitely open 2J's old post office that's a, a shop that sells all sorts of um, knickknacks in there and you've got a hardware store over here and a few other little specialty shops over here is the famous 2J bakery guys this bakery has won plenty of awards for their sausage rolls and right next door to the bakery you've got the Freemasons Hotel which we've had plenty of uh, lunches in there and dinners beautiful place good food in there highly recommended so I'll just turn down and yeah and park the car I've got a um, dedicated bay for myself over here whenever I'm in town only joking guys but usually I find a spot over here hopefully there's one today looks like there might be might no it's not That's, oh yeah there's one over there for me so I'll park my car over here okay guys this here is the back of the Freemasons Hotel that I was talking about before now you can stay here the actual hotel um, has got rooms but they don't have ensuite shared bathrooms but these um, chalets down here, the single story units over here, there's about three of them there. They have got en suites and they're quite nice. We have stayed there for overnight a while back and they're quite good. Over here, we're just walking into the back part of the Freemasons Hotel and this is the beer garden over here. So, uh, Summertime, this becomes quite. There's uh, one in the, there as well. Yeah, there's one there. There's a few people sitting in there at the moment. Help! The the uh, but in summertime, this place is quite packed. Right so we're just walking down the main street here, standing terrace. And um, this is a two great bakery I was talking about before, guys. Okay, we're inside the two day bakery over here. As you can see there's a lot going on. Cakes and breads and rolls being sold in here.
Okay, there's a few second-hand clothing shops over here. And you've got a crystal shop there we just passed. Another little shop here that sells all sorts of uh, knickknacks. Now we're at um, the hardware in the centre of um, Pujo and it's called Maker Hardware. And they've got a few interesting things over here. Check this out guys. This butterfly there. Um, made out of metal. And it's all laser cut. And it's mounted on a uh, tree log over there. That'll look pretty cool in someone's garden. They sell all sorts of stuff over here. They've got ladders and wheelbarrows and trolleys and all sorts of things. The mules over here, mulches. Uh, pretty good little hardware uh, uh, store in the middle of TJ. This is the TJ Memorial Hall. Pretty old building. Stone was laid in 1899, so it's a very old building. Um, I don't know what it's used for these days, but I've seen a sign on the front there that says toilets, so it's probably public toilets today, but it's quite a nice ornate building. And then you've got a bit of a rose garden going on in here. Um, that look nice in spring with a couple of the roses in full bloom. And this year is the old 2J post office. Now a, a local, um, called Uniquely 2J, a local gift shop. So I don't know if we're going to go in there and film. The producers just told me we're going in there to film, so we're in. And they sell all sorts of stuff over here. You've got beanies over there for winter time. Um, you've got t-shirts, you've got plants, all sorts of stuff over here. Christmas um, shop across the road there guys called Christmas 360 it sells a lot of Christmas decorations and 
all sorts of stuff. Not sure if it's open, but we'll have a look. And um, we'll go in there if it is open. Check that. Yes, it is. Check this out, guys. Pretty cool. You, you didn't hear my dulcet tones in there because I couldn't speak because of the music going on and we were being done the copyright. But this shop here definitely is a treasure wonderland of Christmas goodies. So if you're in Turjay, pop into uh, Christmas 360, I think it's called, and um, check it out. Beautiful shop on uh, Sterling Terrace in Turjay. So this year, looking at the old Victoria Hotel guys. Nice hotel, we've been in there once for lunch. Good food. It's a bit packed in there at the moment, so we won't go in. But we'll just film the outside. This hotel has been revamped. Um, the bottom part, I think they're still working on the top part. Because there is accommodation in there. And I think there's some accommodation in the, in the back part of it also. Really nice hotel if you're in town and you want to spend the night somewhere. This is the Victoria Hotel here guys. As I said, it's very, very packed out. So we won't go in and be intrusive on people eating and that. But I just want to show you guys the back of it. This here is where all the chalets are. We haven't stayed in this place. But um, the chalets are brand new. They've been here for about probably a year or so and um, they look pretty impressive. But we'll just take a quick walk around. 
and show you guys the chalets at the back of the Victoria Hotel which is part of the hotel and it actually backs on to the river over here I'm not sure how the river looks today like I said there hasn't been much rain around but this joint's pretty packed out there's a lot of cars here so I'm assuming all these we'll just take a quick walk down to the river oh not down to the river just show you guys the river over here you can see the river over there through the, through the trees so that backs on to the chalets at the Victoria Hotel hey guys this here is the 2J police station and courthouse so uh, if you get yourselves into trouble you'll probably end up here yeah, it's a pretty old building but it's still in operation and then you've got the same John ambulance at the back of that so we're still walking down the main road in 2J and um, called Stirling Terrace we're on the other side now. So we're just walking past a few shops over here. And a few of the shops are closed today because it is the east Truck just went past. Um, there's, a few, there's a place here for sale that it houses a uh, Indian restaurant called TJ Spice and Grill. Uh, we do highly recommend this place. We've been here a few times to eat. Beautiful curry. Goat curry we had over here. Nice goat curry. Next door we have a uh, gift shop and clothing shop. All sorts of things going on over here. The shop's quite interesting. Sells a lot of nice clothes. dresses for the ladies and for the blokes. And next door we've got a um, real estate called Country Realty, 2J Country Realty. If you're in the market for any housing in 2J, have a look at this one, 2J Country Realty. Okay, there's another hardware shop here called Home Tim Man Hardware. So there's two hardware shops in 2J interesting they sell a lot of things over there you can see timber and um, manures and mulches and cement that sort of stuff tools over here they are open but we won't go in and over here we've got another shop that sells all sorts of uh, actually it's part of the hardware shop all sorts of stuff again. And this next uh, cafe we've been eating in, we've had breakfast here. Beautiful spot. Don't go to the cafe. we're going to wind up the video now because we're going to have some lunch at the Freemasons Hotel over here which we're heading into so we'll wind up the video and hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as we have looking around too Jay and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video